Hey folks, it's Mangro. Welcome back to the channel. I'm doing yet another motor review for my lightweight three inch quad builds. This motor is actually quite unique. It is made by RC and Power, our professional motor manufacturer. It is their GTS version 3 1404 plus. Now the special part of this motor is that plus because technically it is a 1404.5 motor. So it does use a wee bit larger stator and I'm really interested to see how this performs given the slightly larger stator that it actually has. Doing a quick unboxing, we have a box with bags inside. First bag is the motor and these motors do come in two different colors. You are looking at the red and black. Second bag, we have some screws. It looks like three different size screws. Unfortunately, once again, we do not have extra C-clips or extra bushings, which seems to be pretty normal for RC and power. The motor actually doesn't seem much larger on the bench, even though it does have that larger stator. It is actually smaller than the Smooth X motors from RCM Power that I reviewed a couple of videos ago. Otherwise, very conventional motor design. It is a one piece bell. So you can see here, there is no top and bottom piece. So this is completely one piece, which does make the motor a bit more durable. And then in terms of the cable, the cable is a 26 gauge cable, which again, quite normal for a motor of this size. And the motor cables are pretty long, nearly six inches in length. Doing a weight check, these motors weigh 10.08 grams. So definitely on the heavy side, but I guess bigger stator means more weight. I've got the motors installed in my Quadmella Siren F3 split, three inch freestyle quad, sub 250 grams. So you can see how these motors look like and just generally how the size compares to this particular quad. I did also do a fresh pit tune and also a filter tune using my go-to software, which is PID Toolbox. And this time around, I did turn on some advanced features in Betaflight. So I've got thrust linearization turned on and I've also turned on the dynamic idle. I will give you in the video description links to my pit tuning as well as my filter tune. Now looking at these two quads, you can actually start to see the size difference between the 1404.5 up here and the regular 1404. So down here, I've got the T-Motor F1404. Up here, of course, we've got the GTS version three from RCN Power. They're not uh, too different from a diameter perspective. So the RCN Power is about one millimeter larger in diameter, but just look at the height difference. And that height difference is what makes up the 1404.5. You're looking at the flight footage directly off of the goggles view recording. As always, I don't use any kind of video stabilization. So no hardware stabilization, no software stabilization. So what you're seeing is truly what the quad is doing as it flies around in the air. And first impressions with these new RCN Power GTS version three mortars is that I truly do feel them being more powerful and more responsive. Now the challenge with motor testing in the air is that it's very subjective and you typically hit more of that kind of placebo effect. But I did do a little bit of scientific testing as well. So I went full throttle punch out and these mortars did pull roughly 51 to 52 amps which is more than the F1404 from T-Motor pulled. So more amps means more power. More power should hopefully mean you know, more altitude being gained and, and stronger motors. I also did notice that when I was doing some maneuvers like split S's and also power loops, these motors were pulling about 53, 54 amps. That's the most I've seen any kind of 1404 motors pulling. This is very similar to how much amps my 1604 motors will pull. So that's telling you how much more powerful these 1404.5 motors actually are. And as I was flying around, they felt great. I actually felt more confident knowing that I had power in reserve to be able to punch out of those kind of dicey situations. No real complaints from that perspective. Quads felt good, felt smooth, felt decent in, in the windy conditions. Now the challenge with these motors, of course, more powerful motors, heavier motors means less flight time. Now, perhaps if you've got a larger quad with a bigger battery, this is not as big of an issue, but me flying around these lightweight, 
sub 250 gram quads that have a 650 milliamp or smaller battery, you really feel the loss of flight time. So typically with my prior motors, the RCN Power Smooth X, I would get, let's say five minutes to five and a half minutes. With the T-Motor F1404, I would get, let's say four and a half minutes. With these motors, I'm getting three and a half to four minutes. And that's where I start to kind of draw the line. Yes, I love the way they flew, but is that worth an extra 30 seconds to one minute of less flight time? That's a question you have to ask yourself. They flew great, but I'm not sure if they flew good enough to justify that kind of loss of a flight time. So in my view, are they great motors? Yes but you have to see whether you're willing to give up the flight time required to have these motors, or perhaps if your quad is a heavier build, that's when these motors could shine. So hope you liked this video, make sure to like, subscribe and comment and stay tuned for more videos.